Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got January 2016 favourites for you. Um, been a bit of a crazy month, it's flown by as every month tends to do and has done for the last five years. Um, but yeah, I've got a new car this month and um, hmm, what else to update you with? Um, yeah, not much else. I've got a new car this month and it went by really quick and trying to just get back on the healthy bandwagon after overdoing it a bit over Christmas. But anywho, let's get jumping straight in. So the first few products I'm going to show you are Soap and Glory products. Um, this one I believe was mentioned in Emily Noel's um, Beauty Awards, but I absolutely love the Smoothie Star the Breck Smoothie Star the Breakfast Scrub, which is by Soap and Glory. This smell is amazing. This is one I haven't started to use yet. One of the ones in the bathroom. Um, I really, really love this. I do love the chocolate lime one as well, but I actually, for the scrub, I actually, I don't know. In the summer, I like the chocolate lime one more, and during the autumn, winter, this one's just really warming and lovely. So I absolutely love that. Um, I do also want to mention as a favorite, it's corresponding moisture milk, which is the Smoothie Star Deep Moisture. Uh, body milk. These are th usually on three for two as well, so if you want to try them just wait and then um, you can try a third product for free. But uh, I just find that this is very moisturising. I didn't expect it to be as moisturising as it is. I thought it would be less moisturising than the body butters, but it, it's not, even though it's a lot thinner and it absorbs quicker. Um, so I really, really love that and it, the scent is the same, so they complement each other and it smells amazing. On the subject of scents, um, I've, my third uh, favourites product to mention is the Red Berries Bubble Bath from Avon. It may be that you've only recently seen my haul video for this but I did film it a while ago before it was uploaded so I've been using this all month round. This smell is an, unlike anything I've ever smelled in a bubble bath. It actually does turn the water this colour as well a little bit. It's just beautiful, it's just like a cake, it's like a trifle or something, it's just absolutely beautiful and um, in regards to repurchasing, I'll probably wait until Christmas next year to repurchase that when I've used it, but I definitely will be trying to get my hands on that next year. Um, for makeup brushes, um, I have two favourites. I just bought both of these out to show you a comparison. So my favourite this month has been the Look Soft Crease, which is the 221 by Zoeva. I wanted to show you it compared to the 228, um, which it, they look almost identical now, it's just one is a little bit smaller than the other um, that's the only difference really um, I've just been loving it for getting right in there in the crease to be honest you don't really need both um, but I just I wanted to try the other one to see if it was different and I'm just really enjoying that for a paint to wash as I mentioned in my makeup brush collection series mini series you do have to wash them twice and then, well, poss possibly more than that, and then condition them as well, so they are a pain. Um, I also have a favourite brush in the Setting Brush by Real Techniques. This came in a Christmas set, I use it for under eye setting, um, but actually also it's fantastic for highlighting. I really, really love this brush. You know when you just get those brushes and you think, how did I live life without it before now? <clears throat> On the um, topic of under eye setting, I've got the Rimmel Lasting Finish Concealer. Now, I've not actually gone through this in my, um, it's not had its own review yet, because I do have an under eye drugstore concealer review series. This hasn't been in it yet, which it will be, but I've been loving this. What I've been enjoying it for is it's very, very light, the porcelain shade. Um, so I, I use it for highlighting and I use it on top of a, another concealer because it's very thick and it, I just feel it goes on nicer on the top of a um, more emollient sort of concealer and um, just pressing it in to highlight and it gives extra coverage and the thing about this as well is if you if you if you, if you get to a certain age or even if you've just got dry skin and you feel like putting powder under your eyes makes you look older and um, then this is a great product because it sets itself basically it doesn't need setting um, I heard Mrs Ginger, uh, Karen from Mrs Ginger's Beauty Channel say that about this product and I didn't really believe it to be honest but it's true um, so you just get a little bit, use the warmth of your finger to press that in round here over the, t I use it over, as I say over the top of a different concealer and that means then that I don't have to powder down um, which you know is great if I feel as though you know I'm wanting a really youthful sort of a look 
Um, I also wanted to mention the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I know it's a bit of a cult classic and everybody mentions it, but I have used it all month round and I really, really love this primer. I don't think I'll probably buy any other, to be honest. Um, next, I'm going to mention the Clean and Clear Deep Cleansing Lotion. I think I heard about this on... I think it might have been Chucky Kaz's channel, um, but I try it and I use it sort of... This is a great product because it's a toner and a cleanser and an exfoliator in one. Um, for me, for someone who doesn't has normal skin, it, it's fantastic. If you have oily or combination or uh, blemish prone skin, then you might want something stronger. Um, but I really, really love this. I find that when I use this regularly, and I also use my um, face scrub regularly, regularly I feel as though um, I don't have to use masks anymore because it's it's so deep cleansing so um, and another reason why I don't have to use masks anymore is that in conjunction with this night cream which is the best night cream I've ever tried it's L'Oreal Revitalift Night absolutely love this product it, it leaves my face feeling so firm and so plump and so smooth and hydrated when I use the right cleansing products, like the one I mentioned before, and I use this, I just don't have any need to apply a weekly mask, and it's the first time in my life I've actually found a combination of products to make that happen, because I don't need a, a moisture boost, and I don't need a deep clean. They just work, and they just keep everything ticking over beautifully, so, so yeah, I really recommend those two products. The next one I'm going to mention is a book, um, J.K. Rowling's The Casual Vacancy. I haven't had a book in my favourites for a few months now. I really am enjoying this book. I'm not very far along in it because, I know this sounds crazy, but I read two or three books at a time. I just, I have to. I can't just read one because I find it too boring. No matter how interesting the book is, I like to mix it up and have different types of book books. So that's a fiction book and yep, yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. So I'm a big Harry Potter fan though, so I, I was expecting to like it. Um, I've got to mention my Wisdom Firm toothbrushes. And this is a bit of a random thing to mention, but I really feel like they need to be mentioned. I wasn't able to find them, and I got annoyed about the fact they weren't as readily available as the medium ones. So I tried some Primark toothbrushes recently, and they just didn't work out for me. And then I found these in my local home bargains, and I stocked up on them. And I'm back to using them now, and the difference is amazing. And I'm just, um, if you want shiny white teeth and you want something that's really going to clean your teeth and you don't have sensitive gums then try Wisdom in Firm and brush as hard as you can and you will find that your teeth come out white. Um, I've got two lip products to mention. The first one is what I'm wearing which is 715 and it's uh, by Colour Sensational Maybelline and it's the Choc Choco Cream. <clears throat> I think I got this on like a market store, I've never seen it in, in a drugstore in the UK and it looks like this and I've been enjoying this so much. It's very very nude, it's sort of sheer and so moisturising um, but it's just easy, like, as you can see you can slap it on with that mirror, it goes with so many, so many if not every eye look, um, especially looks really nice with a smoky eye or in an everyday look like this one. It, it, I was worried it wouldn't work with me, I was worried it would wash me out but I, I just enjoy to wear it and it's so moisturising that I find you know when you wear a lip balm, I don't know if you get this, and it's so moisturising that after you're wearing it a while you feel like you need to rub your lips and exfoliate your lips because it's softened, basically, sorry, it softened all the dead skin on your lips and you need to get it off. That is so moisturising, that does that to me. So um, it's like, wearing, I feel like I'm wearing a lip balm when I have it on, it's lovely. And I mean, not all the colour sensational lipsticks are like that, although the formula is amazing. I think for the price on all their lipsticks but that was just particularly hydrating and I do own a fair few of them. The next um, lip product is, it's completely rubbed off altogether but it's Revlon's Kissable Balm Stain and Honey. This was a recommendation from Leanne Says on Leanne Says channel and um, it's got a funny story, it's dented and looks sort of mutated because when Scarlett was younger, my three year old, she got hold of this and bit it. Um, so yeah, it survived that and it's been a favourite all this month, so I had to give that a mention. And next I want to mention the best mascara I have ever tried in my life, which is Long Longcom Hypnose. Um, this is the first makeup product I've ever tried from Longcom. The one looks like that. This is a sample size. 
I'm not going to repurchase it for a bit because I've, I've, I've recently bought a couple of May, uh, Maybelline Lash Sensations to try and I've heard great things about this but next time I need to buy mascara I am going to invest and get this although it's going to you know it's expensive high-end mascara I am going to get it because this has made such a difference it has just upped my lash game so much and I've really really enjoyed it this month. Um, mainly I've been using the mascaras that are in my Use Up for 2017 project but when I needed something just for a really special occasion um, on the past month, well I say really special occasion, say if I'm spending, I know I'm spending all day with my husband or something like that and I've been putting that on and I absolutely love it. And um, the last product, is it the last one? Yeah, the last one to mention is my Avon makeup setting spray. I'm not going to go into too much detail for this because I've decided I am going to actually film a review video on this. Um, I will just say a little bit for anybody who's just potentially not going to want to watch that review video that you can't put too much of it on um, because it, it will get crusty and um, but it, it does prolong makeup and I do I have enjoyed it all this month so those are my um, January monthly favourites as usual just let me know leave me a comment let me know what you've been loving and what you think of the video and just or just say hi and I'll see you in the next one guys bye